The meat industry actually produces more greenhouse gases than cars and households. Why doesn't this get more attention? I think it's a really, really interesting question and one that I've been thinking about a lot actually. Um, and it is really true that one of the biggest things you can do as an individual is to reduce your meat consumption. Um, and that's just shown by a lot of scientific research that's come out. Um, but I would say though that on a kind of industry or economy wide basis, uh, what the government can still do, they, I think they feel like they can't really do a lot on that topic because it's up to individuals, it's up to people's choices about what they eat. Um, so the government actually has more control over things like energy, things like transport. So they focus yeah. on, on those areas. I think it's important for people to realize that they don't have to go the full way. If there's foods that they really enjoy that they're finding difficult to give up, even every little helps. So even just cutting down in your meat um, consumption slightly can make a big difference. Yeah, and what I like about that is that it's a much kinder approach. I think often the criticism of a lot of vegans and vegetarians is that they're very self-righteous and that can be very, uh, I guess, intimidating and just turns people off um, because they, you know, they believe that they're morally superior just because of their food choices. Now, you can be a vegan but still be a complete dick, mind my language, um, but you could also, you know, be a meat eater and be a complete amazing, incredible, but like people, you know, exist in spectrums. Um, and, I, and I was reading a couple of articles recently, which talked about that's something that a lot of kind of pro vegan vegetarian movements uh, can learn from the growth of that demographic is actually taking a much more pragmatic kind of approach to people's habits. Um, you know, there's studies that, that show it takes anywhere from three weeks to nine months for you to change your habit of, you know, just doing 10 push-ups a day. So to change something that you've been conditioned to believe that dairy is good for you or that you need to have chicken with your chips, it's going to take time and you don't need some self-righteous vegan or vegetarian or whoever um, telling you. But there are also, of course, um, some very, very credible arguments that um, are being made there, like the question that you put to us, Rodrigo. 